This tutorial applies to any Source Engine game, so it doesn't matter what game you're trying to map for, this tutorial will apply to all of those games. So to begin, go to your Source Engine game of choice, whether that's Counter-Strike Source, Portal, Gmod, TF2 or anything else. I'm going to be using Counter-Strike Source. Right click on it in your library, click Properties, Installed Files, and then click Browse. And now we're in the file directory of your game. Now find the bin folder. Scroll down and find hammer.exe. You should make a shortcut on your desktop or right click and pin to taskbar so you don't have to do this every single time. But it's important that the program itself stays here. Once it's open, click File, then New. The first thing we're going to want to do is move all of these tabs to the right so that they're all under each other. It doesn't matter what order they're in, this just makes more space on the screen. Now that we have our first project loaded, I'm going to briefly go over what's on your screen. So let's deconstruct this. On the left hand side are all of our tools. We use these tools whenever we want to place things in our map or modify them in some way. The selection tool is used to select specific parts of the map. So if I want to click on a prop or click on a wall and select it. You're probably never going to use the magnifier or camera tool, but they're used to control the view. The entity tool lets you place, well, entities. If you don't know what entities are, just think of them as things. In the case of Source Engine, we use this to place things like props, spawn points, fire, and we can even do things like teleportation points. The block tool is used to place geometry. So if we wanted to make a house, we'd use this tool to make the walls, the floor, the roof and stuff like that. We can also use it for detailing, so if we want to make a bridge or something. These two tools are used to apply textures to our block. So maybe we want something to be made out of brick or metal or anything like that. These two tools are used to place decals such as graffiti or cracks onto our blocks. And finally, the clipping and vertices tools are used to modify our blocks such as cut through them or make more complex shapes from them. At the top here, we have a bunch of quick options that change how Hammer behaves. So this is just stuff like grid size, turning the grid off, and just changing things in our view. Now onto the view boxes. This is essentially like a plan, elevation and view if you've ever heard those. The grids are where we actually create the map and the top left is the viewport where we see what our map looks like. So the first thing you're going to want to do with the camera is click on the camera button and change it to texture shaded polygons. This lets us actually view the textures on our map. This grid view is a top down view of our map. This one is a side view and this one is a front view. So let's actually start mapping. We're going to create a basic blocky map with a light inside of it. Select the block tool on the left that we spoke about before and drag across any of the grids randomly for now. Click enter. We can now use the selection tool to click on our block and now we can resize it however we want within these grids. So as you can see, we can move this around and create a rectangle, a box and anything we like. To move around your camera, click Z. This gets us into our camera view and now we can use WASD and our mouse to move around it. In the Source Engine, everything needs to be sealed. Basically, don't expose anything to this black void outside your map. If the player can see any of this black void, it will break your map. So let's resize this to be a big box. Now, click up here and click Tools, Make Hollow and set it to 32. And now let's go back into our camera view and go further into this block. As you can see, we can actually go inside this block now and it's a playable space for the player to move around in. I'm going to place some random blocks inside of here as well as an example. You don't have to do this just yet, you can do whatever you want. And I encourage you to do whatever you want because it's the best way to learn. Just place a bunch of random blocks, try to resize them and see how it affects everything. Now that's done, click the entity tool we spoke about and click on your floor inside your box. This has now created a spawn point. It's going to look different depending on which version of Hammer you're using. Obviously, since I'm using the Counter-Strike Source build, it spawns a Counter-Strike player. So don't worry if yours is like a glowing green Gordon Freeman or anything else like that. Now we click the Selection tool and click on it. And with the grid, we can move it above the ground so the player doesn't get stuck in the floor. So now our map has a spawn point and a small playable space. Let's place another entity with the Entity tool. Now with this one, get the Selection tool, click on it, and do Alt plus Enter to change the entity type. When you're in this menu, up here, we can see that this is a player spawn. We can change the entity to anything we want and they all do very different things. We're gonna make a light. So just search light, click Enter, 
and we have a light in our level. Click on the brightness tab. Here we can change the color of the light and the fourth number is the light's intensity. So I'm gonna change this fourth number to 300 and click enter. You can also change the color or anything else you wanna change. Now, select the light and place it roughly in the middle of your box by dragging up on the grid. Now we're done, so we wanna load into the map. Hit F9 on your keyboard. It should open this menu. Click Expert at the bottom and select LDR plus HDR for compile. This is gonna make sure that the best version of our map is compiled. Once that's done, click go and wait for your game to load. And eventually it will load you into your map. And there we have it. You made your first map in Hammer. I'm gonna make many more tutorials on how to do pretty much anything in the editor. So subscribe if you're interested in that. I'm also gonna be making a bunch of different source engine videos.